the double snakes inner and outer variations. So here we, the snakes is based on inner and outer circles. When we come out to the sides, we can go here into our outer snake or our inner snakes. The way we build up to it is first we have to learn the proper grip from the snake and hopefully you've been reviewing the single snake video. So the third finger, or the third finger here, just around the knob, the index finger is on top of the handle and the thumb is wrapped around. So we're using the fingers, the three last thing digits to keep the club flush to the arm. So what we're going to do is start here in this position, bring the clubs behind the elbow and we're going to have the thumbs pointing down. We start with the first elbow circle. Make sure you straighten up the arm fully so the club can come to the top of the elbow and then we add a second elbow circle. Now the clubs are facing up on top of my elbow pit, my palms are facing up to the ceiling as well. Now we're going to go into the inner circle. So first elbow circle and the second one and we come back to the start position. Thumb is facing down, the club is behind the elbow. Okay, so from this view here, this is our start position. From here, you come here, clubs behind the elbows. Down, up, straighten up the arm fully. This is very important, otherwise the club is going to be stuck in the wrong spot. Here you turn the thumb down again and make the second circle. So you're still ending with the palms facing up and the club on top of your um, elbow pit and then we reverse we go towards the top and down first elbow circle and the second elbow circle and we're back to the start so when you're doing this um, this drill you're going to really feel the shoulders burning as well at the same time so I recommend using light clubs remember we want to try to keep our elbows in line with the shoulders so we're not coming down here while we're doing our snakes all over the place. Try to maintain a nice clean line as you're doing the drill. Right, next step is going to be the launch. So when we're doing the second, right for the second circle going outwards, we're going to have the club resting in the hand like so and flick it in the prolongation of the arm and come back into it. So there's a bit of dexterity involved. It might take some time for the left side if you're right-handed to pick it up, but you can also have to practice this. So we go from the star position out to the sides, thumbs down. So we're doing the outer snake first. First circle, second circle, and from here, flick the club and come back into your first snake circle in the second. Hop, one, two, and back into it. Yeah. From the back, so start with the proper grip for the snake. We're going to go outwards. Clubs are behind the elbow, the thumbs are facing down, the elbow pits are facing down as well. And I start going down, first circle. Remember to extend the arm fully so the club is positioned for the second circle. And here, in that position, in that position here, I'm going to get ready to launch the clubs and re-grip into the snake grip. If everything uh, doesn't go as planned, you can also add an extra circle. Sometimes the extra circle allows you to manipulate the club and get into the proper grip for the second one. So that was the double outer snake. For the inner snake, get the grip ready. This time we're going to start with the arms out to the side, but the bottles or the clubs are going to be on top of the uh, elbow pit palms are facing up. So this time we're going towards the top 
and down out and the second circle. When I reach here, this is the, the finished position, the clubs are behind my elbows, the thumbs are facing down. Now I need to release the clubs and catch them again into the elbow pit. So for the back view, if you want to also practice, the, the, uh, you can start from this position here, right? So the clubs are resting into your elbow pit. You just open the arms out to the side and you're ready to go. So we go towards the top and down. Make sure to really straighten and lock out the elbows at the side, the second circle. And from here, we just let the clubs pendulate to the outside and flip over the top and we're back into our inner snake. And last here. So remember to practice elbow circles individually. It'll make it easier to learn how to transition and understand the uh, directions of the snake that you are performing. The launching, either to the top or down to the floor. I repeat, practice with the light club first because the changing of the grips is quite technical and difficult and if your club is too heavy, you're going to fumble and get frustrated. So do not hesitate to leave the ego at the door lighter club and good practice for the inner and outer double snakes.